Hi, I'm Derek from Sony, and if you are super excited to get your TV set up and rocking and rolling and binging all your TV shows and hardcore gaming till the wee hours of the morning, I cannot blame you. But unfortunately, there is an initial setup process, but fortunately, it's very simple, and even more fortunately, -er, I'm gonna give you a couple quick tips to make it a little bit easier to make sure you don't miss something in that initial setup. Tip number one is going to be, I recommend that you have the Google Home app installed and ready to go on your phone because it's going to make the setup process very, very simple and a whole lot less typing with the remote, which can kind of be a pain. So as soon as you hit set up Google TV, it's going to take you to a page. It's going to give you a QR code and recommend, of course, that you do it with the Google Home app. So how do you do it on the Google Home app? Very simply. Open the Google Home app and in the top left, hit the plus icon then select Setup Device. Then we're gonna do a new device. Select the home that it's going to go to. It's going to then look for devices and once it finds your Google TV, it'll list it there. And then you'll go ahead and say, yep, that's the one I wanna to connect to and it'll ask you to scan the QR code. Once you scan the QR code, the TV and the phone, or Google essentially, are going to take care of all of that initial setup. It's going to connect to your network and it's going to get the TV ready for your entire Google experience as well as getting it connected to the network which is super simple rather than typing in all that information. The second tip is going to be a little after the Google setup process where you get to the Sony privacy policy. Now you'll see a couple of check boxes there and you might be tempted to just skip all of that. But if you do intend on actually doing Apple AirPlay, make sure you check the Sony Smart TV services box. Otherwise you might have some issues. Now you can retroactively go back and turn this feature on, but it's easier just to knock it out and have it connected right from the get go. Now the rest of that setup is gonna be pretty straightforward. And once you are set up, one last little bonus feature I wanna add in here is the ability to customize your input menu. Now this is gonna make it very, very simple if you wanna navigate quickly between a couple of different applications and really focus on maybe the main ones that you use. All you need to do is hit the input button, scroll all the way to the right and you'll see a button that says edit. When you select this, you'll have the option to add in any of the apps that you have on the television with a blue check mark so that they automatically pop up when you hit the input button again. So go ahead and choose your favorite applications, add them in as your favorites, and if you want to, you can even maneuver them around to have them in the order that you use them, if you wish. I think it's a great quality of life feature that a lot of people tend to miss, so I hope that helps you out as well. But that's it for the setup. Go enjoy your TV, and again, I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching. Take care.